same team, Blue Sky. And just like the original, you can choose to play as either Dr. Grant or the Raptor. They have the same five stages, but in a different order. So the category that we're going to be playing is Raptor on hard. Of course on hard, right? <laughs> we don't ex accept anything less. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get this started. In this first stage, I, in my PB, I have, I have it under, what, 16 seconds? They intend for you to go all the way up this tree and then back down on the right side, but that slope jump, that's a skip right there. And boom, the stage is over. The next stage, the Savannah, it's basically one long stretch. The side-scrolling just seems to never end. And honestly, this is where the most uh, time saves are because there's just so much stuff in the way that could slow down your momentum. Just take your momentum away because you run into it. Dino P-Speed, if you will. A lot of stuff just in the way, like crates, boxes, enemies, and then of course you see these helicopters shooting miss missiles at me. It always tripped me up because these freaking dinosaurs and humans, they're all living living together and cooperatively working together to kill me. Pulling out all of their arsenals. <laughs> Someone could easily map out this room, have some very precise inputs to uh, avoid everything and, and easily take world record. I believe anyone could do that. We need some more runners of this game. And um, now it's probably a good time to mention that above my health bar at the top left, you'll see this gray box. That's because um, if you play as Raptor, you'll find these gray boxes all over the stages. If you take the time to eat them, you're, you're gonna trip out. You'll go into rage mode where the Raptor is like totally OP and runs faster than usual. It only lasts for a short while, so it's not really worth stopping and eating. But it is cool to see every once in a while. If you've never see this, seen this game before, I recommend eating the Lysine. Apparently Lysine makes dinosaurs trip out. And uh, these missiles, you can kind of manipulate the, uh, the pattern just like that. They do eat away at your health pretty fast if you get hit by them. Um, if you're wondering, all of this stuff spawns at the same area. Oh, I'm getting shot. Crazy. And when you hear those chirps, you know that those little dinosaurs are coming up, the, the compies. Like the, these. They will just hold on to your foot and not let go. <clears throat> okay, this stage is fun. It's basically Raptor parkour over some pyramids. A few pyramids. Oh, I need to get up there. <laughs> Too much health loss if you take the lower route. So basically, we're going to be jumping through all of these hidden ruins. Again, dinosaurs and humans working together trying to kill me until we get to a cave. Once we get to the cave, we're gonna find this cool stone face guy looking like Nickelodeon's Legends of the Hidden Temple. And he shoots fireballs out of his face. And it turns out that you don't even need to fight him. You can run right past the face because he's literally just a face fixed into the wall somewhere. Oh, right, I wasn't keeping track. Okay, so here's the cave. You don't want to fall down there. It's not death, it's just a waste of time. Here goes Legends of the Hidden Temple. And we don't need to fight him. <clears throat> Can somebody go back in time and tell my younger self that? And that's that stage. This next stage is River Run. 
It's basically a downwards maze. If you don't know where you're going, it's you can easily get lost and die. And the checkpoints when you respawn on at them, you're even more lost than w when you were before trying to navigate this. <clears throat> and as you get lower, it starts to get darker. I guess you're going deeper on the ground. But it's weird, like the deeper you go, it starts to get lighter again. It's like they just stopped caring and started throwing in pretty colors. Glowy, pretty colors. Oh, come on, come on. Get him. And the tri Triceratops, it, if you come in contact with it, you're, you're taking damage. It could be with its tail. And I'm not talking about tail whip. It's just standing there. Okay. Just about out of here, cool. Alright, this is the last stage. The cargo ship. We've gone through all of that. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah, sorry about the frame drops. I am getting that fixed after today. It just didn't come in the mail for my network in time. So yeah, we, we are at this stage because, interestingly enough, you are a pregnant raptor looking for a good place to lay your eggs, and it turns out that the cargo ship is where you want to do it. And spoiler alert, the boss is another pregnant raptor who's competing for this spot. We're gonna kill her. Even though she called dibs, you know, she was here first. I don't know why why they would choose this place. This cargo ship is all kinds of messed up. We've got this leak over here. We've got a crazy refrigeration system. Again, we're gonna do the slope jumps because if you mash A, the uh, Raptor can just forego all of those slopes and jump over them. Right, this is the nightmare jump. Wow, I actually did it first try. Things could go so wrong on those jumps there. It's basically a run killer. And it's so near the end of the game. And here is the nesting grounds, apparently. Now it might look like I'm not doing anything, but this spinny thing is a, an attack, kind of like Samus. And... Game. That's that. It is as simple as that. The, the raptor runs so fast. Cheetah speed, if you can quote the movie, remember that. And that's the end of the game. The raptor supposedly lays her eggs there. And all is well. Yeah, the movement is fast and really clunky. <laughs> It, and you have to hold up the entire time to do high jumps and to run fast. It's kind of ridiculous and it hurts your thumb. Congratulations, you won! Yeah, and I was actually worried about the 8 hour estimate not being enough because getting those jumps first try is, I would say, is only like a 40% chance. But yeah, thank you for having me. That was Jurassic Park Rampage Edition Raptor Any Percent. You guys enjoy the rest of your marathon. It is 4.55 a.m. over here, so I will be going back to sleep. I woke up just for you guys. I love watching the, these retrothons. Keep up the good work, everyone. Thanks for having me this, this time around. And be sure to support all the other runners. These are great games. And nostalgia is really bringing me back. <laughs> okay. 
And if you want to pick up this game to run, I suggest you do it. The leaderboards are free. It's so free, it's kind of sad. Alright, you guys. Again, thanks for having me. You guys have fun. I will be watching from here on out. And...